This is NeedlePointers.com. If you have an embroidery machine and are wondering how to get the patterns you downloaded from the internet onto your USB stick and use them on your machine, watch this video. In my previous video, I showed how to download and store a free ladybug pattern. Today, I will show you how to transfer this pattern and load it onto your embroidery machine. First, the USB stick. You can buy USB sticks or drives almost anywhere. They are small devices that can hold large amounts of data. I found that my embroidery machine um, could only handle a small size USB stick. When I tried to use a larger one, it would not read the files on the stick. So if you have trouble with it with your embroidery machine reading your stick, you will want to look in your manual to see if there's a size limit to your USB stick. If so, you will need to find or buy a stick that has a capacity lower or equal to the size specified in your manual. The designs are usually very small, so you really don't need a large stick to store your designs. Also, the interface on your embroidery machine is not as easy to use, and you have to scroll through all of the designs looking for the correct one. So I find that I do not want to keep a lot of designs on my stick, um, because there's less than to look through. Once you have your USB stick, you will put it in the USB port on your computer. Your computer should have multiple USB ports, which may be on the front or the back of your computer. On my laptop, it's on the side. Um, once you put the USB stick into the port on your computer, your computer should load the stick and give you options of what to do. For this, you will want to select um, open folder to view files. My computer is not bringing my stick automatically up with the autoplay feature, so um, no, no problem here, but um, sometimes it'll come up with a window that asks you what you want to do, and if it does that, you will want to pick open and view files. Um, since mine did not come up with a window, I can click on the libraries directory, or I can click on my folder um, to open up my window, or you can also click on your computer uh, from the start menu to bring up the same directory. Um, my, st my USB disk is right here, it's um, letter G, so if I click on that, I can um, see what's all on my disk, my drive right now. So I have a bunch of um, designs already on this drive, but I try not to keep too, too many, because like I said, it's hard to um, get it's hard to sort through them sometimes and see them. So um, next you will need to find the designs you downloaded. If you followed my previous video, you will find your designs in the documents library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an, another window by clicking document by selecting documents. And then the designs we down I downloaded in my previous video is in under embroidery designs, under documents, embroidery designs, and then it put the designs under ladybug. So these are the designs. So when you downloaded the design, especially a free one, it's going to come in many different files. The ladybug design I downloaded came in three sizes and has many formats. The format you need will depend on your embroidery machine and is indicated by the file name extension, which is, the extensions on here is like HUS, JEF, PEC, PES. Those are some samples. And it shows the, t those are shown over here also under type. Since I have a brother machine, I know that I need the format of PES. You can see the PES files here and here. Here and So to copy these files onto your USB stick, all you do is click on the file you want to copy and drag it from the window into the window which has your USB stick over here. So basically I'm going to, I'm going to highlight the PES file. If I want to highlight more than one at a time, I can um, hold down my control button on my keyboard and click at the same time. And there's a third, there's another one here. So I'm going to hold down my control and click. Click. So now I have 
if I scroll up I can see I have this one highlighted this one highlighted oops and I thought I had a third one here's the third one highlight the third one so I have three highlighted those are the three things I want to copy over to my USB stick you don't want to color, copy your color chart or your JPEG file or anything else because your machine can, can't view them so um, they, they just would not be of help so what I do now that I have all three of these highlighted is I I point my cursor at one of the highlighted files click left click and hold down the button and then move over to where my other window is and then while I'm hovering over top of the other window I can let go and then it will copy the files alternatively if you um, don't like the drag and drop method you can also do once you have your files highlighted you can point at the first at one of the files you want to copy press the right click your mouse button and it will come up with this menu and click copy you can then go to where your USB stick is and then you can just point anywhere in the window right click and click paste and then once you click paste it will copy them into this directory since I already have them here I don't need to copy again but that's the second way to do it okay so now we have the three files you can see on my USB disk I have these three ladybug files those are the files for my machine of PES type so to remove your stick you will close the window that has your USB stick files listed in it I'll close this other window also and then you want to eject the disk to safely remove it I should have left that window open so if I go to my computer again and I can over here I can see my USB disk listed I can right click and then select the eject this will then give you a message that says safe to remove hardware so at this point I can now pull the, the uh, USB stick out of my computer safely the only reason you have to do that is to make sure that any files that are on the that are in use on the USB stick are actually closed before you pull you pull the stick out because otherwise it can cause errors on your computer and it could corrupt the files on your USB stick so it's best to eject the stick before you actually um, remove it out of the computer now I'm at my machine I have a brother in a 4000 D machine so the procedure for loading the pattern on the machine may be somewhat different depending on your machine but I'll demonstrate it for mine if you are not sure how to load your pattern from the USB stick on your machine you can look at your user manual and it should have the exact procedure so this is my USB stick and I am putting it in the USB port on my machine then I can turn on the machine it's going to go through some startup screens until I get to the main screen from the screen I have a USB button to press to load the patterns from the USB it then shows me small thumbnails of the patterns on the USB stick I can use the arrows to scroll through the patterns if you have a lot of patterns on your USB stick this is where it can get frustrating so keeping fewer patterns on your USB stick can be helpful sometimes you cannot determine which pattern is which as in this ladybug pattern which has different sizes you can click on the patterns to have them load to see the pattern larger it, if it's not the pattern you want you can just click to load another one and you can see what size it is here and the um, size frame you would need to stitch this pattern so this is the six inch it looks like five by six inch <coughs> and this one's a little bit smaller and 
this is the 4x5 inch. When I find the correct pattern that I want, then I can press the set button. That's it. My machine is now ready to sew the pattern. Thank you for watching our video. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Use the comments section to leave us a comment or question on this video and or suggest a video you would like to see. Find us on Facebook at Needle Pointers and share pictures of your projects. I would love to see them. Also, visit at us at needlepointers.com for lots of other free machine embroidery projects, instructions, and supplies.